wild weather is causing problems across the tri-state area. On Long Island, sump pumps are working in overdrive near Long Island's Great South Bay to keep up with the water from high tide. The flooded inlet of Green Creek in West Sayville turned streets into rivers, flooding many homes. When I woke up, I saw the water coming up across the park, and I'm like, oh my God, I hadn't seen that in years. Topple trees brought down power lines, cutting off electricity in that area. In Queens, a terrifying bus ride for a group of children this morning. A large tree branch fell on top of their school bus in Rigo Park. Eight children and three adults were treated for minor injuries. And in New Jersey, the wind was so strong it uprooted a large tree in Parsippany, landed on a home, damaging the roof, and crushed a minivan parked outside. Lonnie Quinn is here now with more on the storm and a check of the forecast. Messy stuff yesterday. Lonnie. Yeah, I'll tell you, it, uh, it was not a good sign. Day. And it, it ended up with some damage out there for some of you and the flooded streets we had to deal with. So much rain, too much in a short period of time. Now, you take a peek here. This is what the storm looked like as it came through in different waves. But each wave had its own, had its own punch. Each wave, wave uh, could bring its own <laughs> uh, flooding into the area. If you take a look at what we are dealing with as of right now in hindsight as far as what the biggest winds and the biggest rainfall totals were uh george if you could advance that for me there we go the biggest numbers we had anywhere as far as the rain we had over five inches 5.42 in randolph new jersey 5.1 east rutherford new jersey almost five inches 4.97 in westport connecticut 4.6 in armonk central park coming in at 3.03 what I think is most interesting about this, small distance, big difference in numbers. Now, these are all numbers within the counties I have listed. So one town in Bergen coming in at 2.2, another town coming in at 5.1, with a difference of about seven miles between them. Westchester, one town 2.07, another 4.7. Suffolk, you went from 1.4 to 4.8. Orange, 1.9 to 4.4. Nassau, 1.5 to 3.69. I mean, even if you're on the low end here, these totals were big for anybody out there. And the peak wind gusts, the strongest wind gusts we had anywhere. Look at this, Plum Island coming in with a 75 mile per hour gust. That's category one hurricane strength. Keep in mind, that's a gust, not sustained. Sustained was 41 for Plum Island. Sanford, Connecticut, 65 mile per hour gust. Mamaroneck, 57. Iceland, 51. Newark, 48. Those numbers have come down significantly. It's still breezy out there. Those winds still a bit of a factor. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. Right now, let's go back to you at the desk.